how are you doing this question? Oh, incredible, <laughs> man. Every day I get to be out here, it's uh, it's a blessing, really. You know, after all the, uh, the stuff I've been through, it's, it's you know, you just got to take every day one day at a time. Be really grateful for the opportunity to still be able to play and stuff. What was last year like, especially? Uh, did you go through stuff before that and, mm -hmm. and then have another setback last year? How tough was that? Oh, it was really tough for sure, but uh, you know, after doing it twice, you know, you kind of get a feel. You always think I got a feel for it. I know what to expect it, but it's a little different every time. It's certainly tough, you know, missing almost a full year of football, but you know, I feel like I'm built for it. Uh, you know, I had a, a great support staff. I'm extremely grateful for the, the medicine staff here and Coach Riley, all that they did for me to make sure I could get back healthy. In the spring, were you still recovering from the foot or was it something else that you were dealing with? Uh, Katie? <laughs> <laughs> That's a, <burst>. <laughs> <laughs> a peek behind the curtain. This is dramatic. I'm, yeah. I'm ready to go this year. You know, <laughs> yeah. Foot's, foot's healed. We're all good. Very players you kind of talked to that went through similar stuff with long-term injuries. That yeah. You kind of uh, one guy uh, I leaned on a lot was Solo. You know, I always. Not, not that it's ever a compare game, but that guy's been through a lot. And seeing the way he attacks his rehab, his recovery, the way he continues to come back, he's a very resilient guy, one of the toughest people I've ever met. So having him in the same locker room, it's, it's really nice. What was the hardest stretch during that time for you? Um, it's typically after a surgery. You know, you can't walk for a while, no weight bearing. You know, the leg atrophies quite a bit. So getting everything back under you, it's, it's tough, but I feel amazing now. Going through all this, did your motivation ever waver in football? Oh, definitely not. No, seeing the opportunities in this offense, seeing uh, seeing how good we were last year and how much we can elevate into next year, it's it's just even all the more motivating. What was that like for you to watch the, the transformation last season? Uh, it was it was really cool, but it was tough. You know, obviously, I would have liked to be more of a part of it, but you, know, you got to take things in stride, and control what I can control, and make the most of it. Your group doesn't get mentioned too much, but how optimistic are you that the tight ends are going to play a bigger role this year? Oh, very optimistic. I think we're kind of like a more silent hero of the team. You know, you don't get as much glorification, but we're in there getting down and dirty with the O line, helping block on the perimeter, running routes with the receivers. I think the, I think we're going to have a really big role this year. Where are you working the most? At H back, tight ends, or oh, anywhere? I'll, anywhere they call me, I'll, I'll take reps wherever. Was there a particular just kind of realization, or you know, some some development that you feel like you made, maybe mentally or, or otherwise, just you know, being out for a while? Yeah, I think different... there's a lot of personal development and mental growth that happens. You get challenged a lot. It's tough every day. You have to show up with the same mentality that you want to get better, you want to stay healed. And there's certainly times where you you feel down. You know, you might have a setback, but it's important to, to you know stay positive, to attack every day with a good attitude, and things will work out. It's like being the older guy in the tennis It's weird, man. It's it's definitely different. You know, I'm used to having older guys like Josh and Eric before, even Malcolm. But now that I'm the oldest guy, you know, it, it's a little weird coming off an injury, you know, and not being able to kind of participate as much, uh, trying to lead while, from behind, you lead from the back. But I think I found a good way. I you know communicate well with everybody. It's it's certainly an honor to be in this position. Were there moments during that time where you maybe thought you were going to come back, but then there was just kind of a setback out of it? Uh, you know, you always want to push yourself as hard as you can, and sometimes your body doesn't respond the way you want it to. So just, you know, being in tune with it, very communicative with the uh, with the medical staff here, and you know, it all worked out. How do you mean to you to have a full and productive season? <laughs> a lot, you know, it's been tough. That's been my goal for a few years now is to, to be able to play in every game, participate as much as I can. And, that's certainly the goal this year. I think we can do it. Is there a, you got to prove something kind of element to, to it all? Uh, to an extent, but you know, I've proved everything I need to to myself. I know exactly what I what I can do. I know I've, there's some things that are just out of your control, you know, and these kind of freak accidents are tough to deal with, but I've, I've worked my tail off to get back and I'm really excited for this season. You seem like you're in very good spirits. Yeah, yeah. yeah I appreciate that. Yeah, exactly. What's the biggest example of the culture change that has happened here, would you say? Um, the biggest evidence of it? I'd say the, the accountability stuff. Uh, I think I mentioned that last time I was in the media like 10 years ago, but <laughs> um, you know, guys are showing up to every single thing that's required on time to meals, classes, uh, rehab appointments, whatever it may be. There's across the board, complete compliance with that. Curious, uh, Coach Simmons said that, that Cliff, his, some of his biggest impact so far was helping out with just kind of situational stuff and, and this and that. What have you seen so far, the impact he's brought as an analyst after kind of watching? You yeah, know? he's awesome. You know, it's it kind of like, uh, I like to think of him as like a liaison to, to Coach Riley. You know, you're not always going to be able to talk to the head ball coach, offensive coordinator, and having him in between really helps mediate everything. He's, he's great to talk to, and 
uh, you know, very honored to have him on staff.